Here's how to publish your UEFN project to Fortnite. What we're going to do first is up in the top left we want to go to project and then we want to press publish project. You can see here it's going to say before you can publish in Creator Portal you must check your project for memory issues. If you've not done so already cancel and do this check first. So you can press learn more and it will then tell you how to do these memory checks which you can see perfectly here. So this is quite easy to do but you can also let me know in the comments down below if you do want a video covering this as well. However at the moment that's not what I'm going to go over. But once you're happy with your project and you do want to publish it come back here and you can add a brief description for this version of the content. This is optional, all I'm going to do is just tutorial project as that is all this is, I'm not actually going to fully upload it, this is just to show how to do it. Then I'm going to press continue. This will then start a process of publishing the project as you can see here and I'll get back to you once this has finished. Once this has finished publishing you'll notice that you should now have a project code. We're going to want to copy this and then hit done. When you press done it should open up your web browser here and prompt you to log in to your Epic Games account so I will do that right now. Once you've logged in you can now see we have this publish section here. So publish and the name of your map, mine was called Fortnite Tilted Map. So select private version, this is the version we've just created so obviously any other time you go to publish a project doing the process here it will have a different version here which you can then choose from so you can update this as you go along as well. If you want to release it then push an update you can do that very easily. We can then give it a name here so I'll name this one Tutorial Island and I'll give it a description of this is a very basic island with not much changed just for the purpose of a video tutorial. Something as simple as that. And you'll notice the red asterisk here means it is required. So these island instructions part 1, 2 and 3 are not required, those are optional. So if you want to put some stuff in there you can, however it's not necessary for me. Then we can also add in some island tags. So what I'm going to do is just add in action, maybe add in even 1v1 and I'll also add in board game. My project doesn't actually have any of these, again this is just as an example. You can then also add in island image and island trailer if you wanted to do that so that will then obviously give your project a lot more visibility and it will just look a lot nicer and people will be more likely to want to play it so you can do that there and then the bottom here you can set the visibility so you can have it listed or unlisted just because of the quality of this map I haven't actually done a thing I'm going to set it to be unlisted. And then here, release to island code automatically. So this update will be automatically released to your live island code as soon as content review passes. That is going to be fine for me. So you'll notice at the bottom here, submit for publishing is greyed out. And that's because I actually do need to submit an island image. The trailer is optional, but the image is required. So I'm just going to do that very quickly now. What I've done is just downloaded a random image from Fortnite, which I wouldn't recommend doing because obviously I don't own this image. But as I'm not actually publishing this, it's going to be fine. So obviously get an own image for you, but this is the one which I have got and this is just currently uploading and I'll get back to you once this has finished. So I think this has actually uploaded, but you'll notice we still can't submit for publishing. I think the reason for that is because up at the top here we see a little warning sign. If you hover over it, it says please run a memory calculation in UEFN while connected to a session. Publishing is not permitted for private versions that have not been memory checked. So I said I wasn't going to bother doing that as I didn't need to, but it turns out you do actually need to do that. So sorry, I forgot that. So you do actually need to run that memory check. I did say you should do it anyway, but I just wasn't going to bother for the purpose of the video, but you do need to actually do that. However, I'm not going to do that step for one reason, because once you have done this and you can then press submit, that is the whole process done. But I will show you what actually happens after this. So once everything here is all set up and I've just told you how to do that, once you've got it all set up, you're going to want to press submit for publishing. Once you press submit for publishing, you should see that you have an option to auto activate the project. That will then automatically publish the island to the discover screen after the successful re review process. So this is also why I'm not going to be fully doing the whole process in this video is again, because of what I've created, it's going to have to go through a process of review anyway they're not going to want to accept this because it is obviously a terrible map I've done nothing to so it's not going to be accepted so there's no point going fully through with it so I'll just show you the final section on their documentation which I will of course leave a link to in the description down below. So you can tick or untick auto activate depending on what you want. So then it will look something like this down here 
When it is being reviewed, it will have this orange triangle warning sign here. And once it's been approved, it will have a green tick here. That obviously means it can now be played. And that is as simple as that. That is it done. Once it is approved, it's going to be on the Discover screen for anyone and everyone to play on Fortnite. So there's some more stuff down here. So the project status, so you have unpublished, listed, and unlisted. So unpublished means projects that aren't published and haven't been moderated, i.e. the one which I have just done. Listed is projects that successfully passed moderation and are published to the Discover page in Fortnite, which will be hopefully yours. And unlisted is projects that have successfully passed moderation and have a project code, but are not available from the Discover page in Fortnite. So for example, you've not published it fully yet, or you've taken it down for whatever reason. Essentially, these are the three different project statuses that you have here. So that will be it for this video. It's a very quick one, just going over how to actually publish your project. I hope this video has been helpful. Again, I've not fully gone through the exact process myself, but I have shown you every step of the way. And that's again, purely just because this project isn't gonna get published because the only thing I've done really is add in a few rocks and add in two factories. So there's no point adding in extra work for a human moderator to have to review this and then decide why someone posted this. It's not gonna get accepted. But I'm rambling on now, so I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you found it helpful. And that's how you can publish your UEFN games to Fortnite.